हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक अगेन विद माय न्यू वीडियो ऑफ सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ ओके सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिकैप्चुलेटेड एवरीथिंग इन द लास्ट वीडियो ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बेसिकली एंडो मेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम ओके बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट गिव अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ सेल वॉल ऑल्सो सेल वॉल बेसिकली हैज थ्री लेयर्स प्राइमरी सेल वॉल सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल एंड टेरशरी सेल वॉल Tertiary cell wall is not common to all. It is only present in the gymnosperms and also in tracheids of gymnosperms. Okay, it is not present in all. Uh, we have also discussed about all those compositions and functions of cell wall also. Like cell wall helps to provide uh, shape to the cell. It cell wall protects the cell from infection and uh, damage. Okay, it also uh, helps to provide cell to cell interaction. and it provides a barrier to undesirable macromolecules now, so let's just start with the today's topic endomembrane system <coughs> endomembrane system basically consists of four types of organelles and these all four organelles are connected to each other and are totally dependent on each other even if any one of them is not present then whole other three will also be not able to work so let us see what are they basically first is endoplasmic reticulum okay second is golgi apparatus or can say golgi complex or golgi bodies third is lysosomes and fourth one is vacuole all these four are highly indep uh, independent on each other okay so today we are going to start with the first one endoplasmic reticulum okay so basically endoplasmic reticulum are of two types first is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and second is rough endoplasmic reticulum okay endoplasmic reticulum is a single membrane bound structure and the part inside the endoplasmic reticulum okay uh, is known as luminal part and part outside the endoplasmic reticulum it is called as the extra luminal part all the cell organelles are present in the extra luminal part okay uh, it is widespread in the cytoplasm endoplasmic reticulum is widespread and uh, also it is scattered a lot okay so now let us discuss about the components of endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum are basically composed of three components first is vesicle second is tubules and third is cisternae cisternae is basically mainly present in rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, and other two components are also present and uh, tubules are basically present in smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, and cisternae and also vesicles are present in smooth endoplasmic reticulum also okay so let us differentiate between rough endoplasmic reticulum rer and smooth endoplasmic reticulum ser okay we can just name them in short forms ser smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rer rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so first difference is 80s ribosomes are present in rer okay whereas ribosomes are absent in ser c 80s ribosomes are composed of two units 60s and 40s do not make mathematical calculations in bio okay so it will give you 100s whereas it is 80s ribosomes it is just its units 60s and 40s uh, it makes 80s okay so ribosomes are attached with the help of 60s units in the rough endoplasmic reticulum whereas ribosomes are absent in smooth endoplasmic reticulum this is the second difference now third difference is riboforin 1 and riboforin 2 are present in rer and riboforin 1 and 2 are absent in ser riboforin 1 and 2 are basically kind of proteins which are present in the ribosomes okay now fourth type of difference comes is uh, rer is mainly composed of cisternae as i have already said and ser is mainly composed of tubules now last difference that comes is proteins are synthesized in the rer and lipids and glycogen is synthesized in the ser so these are basically five differences between ser and rer now let us see the functions of endoplasmic reticulum okay so first function that uh, endoplasmic reticulum is widely spread out in the cytoplasm so it makes the framework of cell and also provides mechanical support to the cell now 
second thing is it is used for the intracellular transport see it is widely spread in the cytoplasm so it can be used for transporting one thing to another like for example in india there is high national highways expressways so if you travel through it then you can travel uh, through different parts of the india similarly uh, and they are uh, widely scattered similarly endoplasmic reticulum in the cytoplasm is widely scattered so it can be used in intracell uh, intracellular transport okay transport of different materials in the inside the cytoplasm or cell now third function is endoplasmic reticulum has maximum amount of membrane okay it has maximum amount of membrane and hence it is known as system of membranes system of membranes and it also provides uh, membrane to the nucleus at the time of cell division now fourth function uh, it is of rer rer basically helps in the protein synthesis and fifth function is ser helps in lipids and glycogen synthesis now sixth function uh, it is ser contains uh, cytochromosome p450 uh it is a type of material or basically enzyme present in the ser which helps in detoxification of materials or can say detoxification of toxic materials so these were the basically functions of uh, endoplasmic reticulum rest of the things we will discuss in the coming videos that's all for today thank you